Hello, you've just watched a video of uh, someone testing with a tick tracer, testing their uh, whatever that device was in it, and then they uh, also tested um, the wire, one wire, two wire, three wire, that one was hot. And then they stuck it on the wall, and the wall came up hot. So, <clears throat> in a previous video, uh, people have asked me, okay, why? So, why not answer why? Um, first thing with the tick tracer is it can also detect things in the vicinity. So if you had, let's say, four wires uh, underneath a stable, which is a no-no, whatever, um, and you put the tick tracer on it, you might find that multiple wires are hot. The problem is that the uh, tick tracer reads through other wires, and so you get a false positive, basically. And uh, so that's why tick tracers are not dependable. What this guy's doing, he's reading on a wire. Who knows what's inside the wall? If he's coming, if that wire's coming out of the back of a receptacle, a switch box, something with multiple circuits in it that are hot, he might be reading off of a neutral. Those are different goofy colors. They weren't even, it wasn't a white or black or whatever to make it kind of where you could understand it, whatever, if you're, you know, in America. But, uh, he might be reading off another a box now reading out of the wall also now there might be things in the wall like other conductors that are it's just shallow you can read outside you don't have to even be touching some things if uh, the power's on and uh, you can read it through a wall it's not that the wall's hot it's just that it's reading what is hot now i think he's more or less uh reading something that's inside the wall like a, a cable maybe maybe the feeder cables are going through there you've got 240 volt you, you never can tell but it's not like that the house is hot but uh in this instance never trust the tick tracer uh that's the problem uh always use a tester um go from neutral to hot or ground to hot what have you and uh that's how you're going to find out if it's truly hot or not the tick tracers are they're just in, if you're something's inside of a box and uh that's the way to check and see if something is hot in there then you flip the breakers on and off until that tick tracer stops and okay i don't have any more hot circuits in there so you're good to go um but that's all that that's good for otherwise those things are dangerous and they tell you something that's really not there so thank you keep watching i'm going to explain more videos uh Excuse me, I got COVID and I got this Bell's palsy. Half my fucking face isn't uh, working right, but uh, I'm getting better. I'm getting prettier. So what are you going to do? So, <laughs> yep, it's a symptom. COVID, crazy. Anyways, uh, look for more videos and uh, thanks for watching.